Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video we're going to show how to create surface textures for a tree. Uh, we're going to begin by subdividing the model just a little bit and then we're going to move on to using our wax tool. And we're going to create a sharp fall off for that wax brush just to give the uh, to be able to lay down some sort of more bark like surfaces, sort of strips of bark if you will. We're going to just brush that in around the tree and keep sort of brushing that around until you get a nice base form going. We don't want to use too many polygons here just to just uh, keep fairly low resolution or medium resolution. Then what we're going to do is on that medium resolution level we're going to use a stencil image and just create it yourself a, a, a TIFF texture actually. Um, and we're going to use that to project the bark in this case onto this tree surface. You can use the S uh, stencil hotkey to uh, and the mouse buttons to move this stencil around. And there's going to be some additional options underneath the uh, stencil uh, in the stencil properties for using tiles, controlling the visibility of it, uh, various uh, other options in there. We're just going to get that stencil position so we can then quickly rub on our bark texture. Uh, it's just a really quick way to work, just to use an image to um, quickly cover the tree, but yet be able to have the image flow along the surface of the tree. Then we're going to use a, uh, an image with some transparency, so that it gives a nice fall off to the image. Um, this particular one I created in Photoshop, and this will allow you to rub some decal images onto the surface. In this case, we're just going to place some eyes for the tree on the surface. <clears throat> Continue to just work. Uh, after we've painted the texture, we're just going to keep working the, uh, the surface a little bit after subdividing once more. I'm going to save our scene. And then we're going to use the sculpt model using displacement map function. And just browse to find where Mudbox has created a directory and load the uh, TIFF image into the sculpt model using displacement map utility. And after you press the go button, we're, it's, you're going to see there that uh, you've already you've added some additional bark detail on top of what you've sculpted using based on the, what was in the image. So you can preview the cavity texture using the ambient Cousin filter. <clears throat> 